Sonic Forces. What is there to say about this game? If I'm being truly honest, when I saw, first saw that CGI footage, man oh man, did I get excited. I was like, oh boy, look at Sonic. He's got a brand new game, looking fresh, looking spiffy. And wait a minute, is that is that classic Sonic? I thought he was only like in generations or something. Why is he here again? Yeah, whatever. And also too, you got a customizable character. That's also a really cool idea and might be one of the most creative ideas this game has, but got poorly executed in the actual game. Hell, I even made Needle Mouse from hit YouTube series, Needle Mouse, but I just felt like she was missing a lot of stuff too. If the customizability was a little bit more free, and maybe you could, you know, change the color of your gloves or something like that, or just get more customizable features, and I feel like it would have been more open with the players. If I'm being honest, this game is not the worst. We've obviously seen worse. And this game is not the best. And we've obviously seen the best. <sighs> Ugh. But honestly, I just feel like this game is at constant war with itself. Get it? Um, like on the one hand, it's got really good ideas. Like, you know, you got a kind of new moveset for Sonic. You got Classic Sonic, which has a drop dash and some kind of good level design. And then you got your OC, which has pretty cool customizable features, but gets kind of poorly executed in the long run. And you get this new, fresh character, Edge... I mean, I, I'm sorry, um, Infinite, that's his name. Jeez, he, he reminded me so much of an edge lord that I almost called him one. Um, at first, when you first see him in the trailer, he seems like a really, really cool character. But when you see him in game, he's just another wannabe Shadow. Hell, even Shadow mentions this in one of the cutscenes in his own campaign episode Shadow. And I'll put a clip up now. Worthless. Don't show your pathetic face around me ever again. I am weak! I don't know what that last thing was about. I apologize. But speaking of that, let's go to the story. Basically, Eggman has taken over Mobius and pretty much just conquered the world like he's always set out to do. But, oh no, uh, apparently there's a rookie and it's up to you, the player, to save Sonic, or else the world's doomed or something. Um, yeah, um, Sonic isn't really tortured for months, he's just kind of sitting there, just like picking his own a-hole, so I mean, way to go, Sonic team! But yeah, you team up with the rest of the gang at Sonic, and then you kind of do your own bullcrap around Mobius and, and try to take it back. Then by the end of the game, you pretty much do accomplish that goal, and everything's back to normal, I guess. Um, that's pretty much the story. The gameplay for Modern Sonic is just press this button to win. Pretty much you can just boost through the entire stage and that's really, that's pretty much it. Classic Sonic is just, uh, And it's such an insult to Classic Sonic because we've seen awesome level design from Sonic Generation to Classic Sonic games. Hell, we've even, even seen better um, gameplay from like some cheap old generic fan games. Um, not, 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 not the good fan games. I'm talking about those ones made out of scrap, uh, from scratch or something. Also, too, the OC gameplay, it's pretty much just modern Sonic's gameplay, just without the boost and with these wisp weapons and... Wait a minute, what, what, what the f***? Why are the wisps here? I thought they were on Planet Wisp. Why are they here? Did Eggman just have some leftover whiffs just lying around? He was like, well, I might as well just put them around the levels just because. How uninspired is that? But I mean, yeah, you've already heard me ramble on about how bad this game is. But honestly, it's not as bad as um, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. That game is awful. And it's not as good as like all the other games that we've had. It's just very, very very mediocre like it's a hardly okay game 
it it was it was rushed it didn't really have much time to be a good game and it kind of suffered because of that thank god that we actually got a good sonic game recently being sonic forces the horizon dlc was spectacular i really had a good time with that other than the last uh, coco trial which was absolute bs but other than that it was a really really good dlc and sonic for tears as a whole is a really good game it's everything Sonic Forces wishes it could be, but that's it for me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you want to see more stuff like this, please like, comment, share with a friend, and subscribe for more if you want. Um, it helps out the channel, and it, you o- it only takes a button. So, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. I, re- I return to the void. See you later.